When you first start up Cyberpunk 2077, you're going to be faced with one of the most important decisions you can make at the start of the game, during character creation. Which is your character's backstory, or life path as it's called in Cyberpunk 2077. There are three life paths you can pick, Street Kid, Nomad and Corpo. Each one will start you off in a completely different location in the opening prologue quest of the game. So essentially you'll have a different start to the game depending on your choice here. Ultimately though, all three starting prologues all conclude with you starting at square one in essentially the same place in Night City. But the life path system goes much further than just where you start the game. In fact it's going to have an effect for your entire playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077 and it can even change during it. So before we get into the details about how this will affect the gameplay, let me give you the overview of each life path choice. Starting out with the corpo lifestyle. Few people leave the corporate world with their lives, and fewer still with their soul intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules and you've exploited secrets. In the corporate lifestyle information is king since it can be weaponized, and there is no such thing as fair game, only winners and losers. Now the first thing you're going to notice when playing as a corpo, when you meet people from the corporate background, you're actually going to know the game they're playing because you've been there, you've done that. So you'll be at a big advantage, there's going to be many opportunities you'll have to call them out on their BS through unique dialogue opportunities. There's even a confirmed secret romance option which wouldn't be available if you hadn't chosen this option. And without spoiling anything, you may find that your backstory impacts your relationship with Johnny Silverhand, so you may have a harder time gaining his trust. Next we have the Nomads. The Nomads hail from the Badlands, which is basically an area surrounding Night City that's just a complete barren wasteland. To survive, the nomads form tribes that live in their cars and drive over the badlands, looting scrapyards and raiding fuel depots, and basically just live life on the road while doing a few jobs for people within Night City, as you'll find out. The whole concept is very much like a biker gang or some kind of Mad Max tribe. While the nomads might be at the bottom of the economic society, they're all about integrity, family, and a life of freedom, living life on the road. So their relationships mean a lot to them. If you pick this life path, you'll find yourself at an advantage in the Badlands around Night City. You're going to get some unique dialogue options and opportunities through them, and you'll also find that you're going to be a lot more trustworthy because you grew up there and you know what that life is like, as opposed to if you had like a corporate background and you go into the Badlands and you try and make some friends, you're going to have a lot harder time. Lastly, we have the Street Kit. This is kind of like the middle ground grew up in Night City as a low class origin, born into the absolute gutters of the city. Now street kids obviously are street smart, coming from their low class middle families and the struggles that that entails. They're considered rogues of the inner city and do whatever they can to survive. So you're going to be well connected with all of the people in Night City and especially be able to handle yourself with gang members because many street kids actually grow up and become gang members. But just how exactly will your choice here affect your gameplay in Cyberpunk? Firstly, your character, as I said, will have advantages depending on which faction they're speaking to based on your character's life path. A street kid, for example, will find it easier to interact with gang members since you were born and raised in these back alleys and you know them like the back of your hand. You'll be able to call out people trying to scam you and so on, while a corpo will have an advantage when interacting with corporate characters. Secondly, as I mentioned before, the devs have mentioned that there are possible romance stories that you can only follow if you have the right backstory or you'll make it easier for yourself. Otherwise, they won't actually even appear as an option. Now we know one of these lies in the corporate lifestyle, but I cannot speak for the rest or even if there are any in those other areas, but knowing CD Projekt Red, I'm sure there will be. Thirdly, as I said, it will affect where you start the game. Now this isn't going to give you any huge advantage or disadvantage. At the end, it's really just done for, for flavor of the opening prologue to give you an idea of where you came from, who you are, and without spoiling any of the backstory or what actually happens. No matter which prologue you choose, you're going to end up in the same place in Night City, starting out at square one with a lot of issues. Fourthly, rather interestingly, your apartment will actually change based on your life path 
to kind of represent your character and what they're like based on how you play Cyberpunk 2077 over the course of the game. You can choose to side with gangs or betray them to the corporate overlords and it's really up to you who you make friends with and who you don't and who you backstab and who you don't and so on. And rather interestingly your apartment will actually also change based on your life path and the decisions you make throughout the story. It's going to constantly change as the game progresses. So that's going to be a cool sort of little easter egg to keep an eye on as we play through this game. So that is basically the summary of the backstories and the effect they're going to have on the gameplay. Obviously the different gangs and factions you befriend and so on are going to lead to you getting access to better weapons and gear of those certain factions. So do bear that in mind when selecting a certain backstory if you kind of like a certain style that that backstory is going for you, you're going to be able to access the weapons from that area a little bit easier. And obviously if Cyberpunk 2077 is a game that interests you and you want to find more out about the lore and backstory of the game, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'll be making lots more Cyberpunk content right here. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions about the recent gameplay and whatnot, just leave your comments below. Have a great day and goodbye.